What's up, everybody? I hope you guys are having a blessed day today. I'm Colton from Seeking Wisdom Ministries, and I'm here with uh, my brothers in Christ. These are uh, Warriors for God right here, if you want to introduce yourself. I'm Dawson Dowdy. I'm Seth. I'm Seth Olenek. Seth and Dawson. And we're going to pray before we get into this. I just wanted to have a good talk. The Lord, the Spirit led, um, introduce Him a little bit, how they're here right now, and um, what God is doing in their life, so we can, you know, share it with everybody here, because... Right now, God is moving so fast in certain areas in this ministry, and I just want to thank everybody who's poured into this ministry with your prayers and your thanksgiving and your giving, because honestly, like, prayer, God moves on prayer, and I'm just so thankful. So we're going to pray before we get into this talk, and just like 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 the song and the lyrics that God gave me, I don't want to speak unless He gives me the words to speak. I don't want to walk unless He's leading me. Jesus, we're seeking wisdom from you because we realize you're coming soon. So, Father, I lift up the name of Jesus Christ above every other name. Lord, as Acts 4.12 says, that there's not one name under heaven whereby men must be saved, but the name of Jesus. So we exalt you, God. We lift up your name, and you draw men unto you, God. And I'm so thankful for my brothers in Christ here today that we are one in you, God. There's neither male nor female. There's neither Gentile nor Jew. We are all one in you, Father, and we glorify you, and we thank you. We see the signs of the times and that you're coming soon and that you're setting on fire the people the chosen remnant God and that you're raising up your army to be able to be bold for you God so I pray everybody watching this may uh, just get fed by your Holy Spirit speak through us God may we as iron sharpens iron encourage one another in your holy name amen amen amen, amen. so yeah this is really cool we're kind of in a weird posi position right now I don't have any chairs and I feel bad right now but they liked the bed so it was like all right we're just they're gonna sit there that's comfortable that's comfortable yeah hey, amen well, this is Dawson, and he just drove 12 hours to come from Kentucky to come get baptized in Jesus' name tomorrow, and he wants to get filled with the baptism of the Holy Spirit, and I've just kind of been pointing to him on certain things, and he already knows a lot, but he's hungry, so if you want to introduce how that happened and stuff like that. Yeah, so um, me and Colton met on Instagram, well, it's a long story, but yeah, through Instagram mainly, and um, I just... Just went from there, and we've talked from there, and uh, yeah. our relationship grew, and I ended up coming coming down here. So yeah, we just started like kind of talking on the phone, and and you know he would he would ask certain things, and the Holy Spirit would move, and you know speak through me to him in in that season of his life, and we've just been talking for a couple months, and been just making good friends, and you know we need each other, we need each other as the body of Christ, the Word of God it says, and you know don't neglect the gathering uh, unto one another as some do. Because especially in these last of days, we need each other. And then this is my uh, friend who, he was the first friend when I moved to Texas that I ever knew in middle school. And he is set on fire by God now too, if you introduce how uh, God set a fire on you. He uh, set a fire by showing Cole in a dream that the rapture was happening soon and that he should save as many people as he should. So he mm. came to me and showed me the ways to uh, his faith and the word. And I was filled with His Holy Spirit, and therefore mm. I accepted Him and, to, and accepted God into my life. Amen. Amen. And it's just awesome because, you know, we were talking about the end times today, actually, which is crazy. This is supernatural. This is what I'm talking about, how God moves uh, in many ways and speaks through people. As we were talking today, we were kind of eating at a restaurant, and we were just chilling. And he was asking me, dude, tell me about the two witnesses. And it was like, okay, dude, that's awesome. That's a big topic. Let's talk about it. And I'm wanting to. And then not even, I think, an hour later after we got done um, eating, my friend Seth calls me. He says, hey, man, what's up? Do you want to get together? And then we, we get together, and he says, hey, let's talk about the two witnesses, <laughs> which is wild. And we just started talking about the end times and the tribulation and the rapture of the church, the harpazo, the ones who are walking with God, the bride of Christ, who have made themselves ready and prepared because we are the bride of Christ. If you, if you, not everybody is a part of the bride, sadly, because there's going to be some who are left behind and they're the tribulation saints. They're the ones that ha are going to have to go through hell on earth. They're going to have to refuse the mark of the beast and, um, and they're going to have to die for their faith in Jesus Christ. And we were talking about Enoch and how Enoch is a foreshadowing of the rapture of the church. It's a, it's a painting, a picture of how Enoch, he was taken in the Old Testament. And it says, why was he taken up, right? Why did God take him? Because his testimony was that he pleased God, for God had took him, for he pleased God. This is what his testimony was. And the rapture of the church is going to be for those who are pleasing God in the sense of not because their works or anything, but because they have a relationship with him. It's an intimate relationship and stuff like that. 
But uh, what were we talking about in the car? Repentance? Repentance. 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 And like what true repentance is. Yeah. And what it really means and how it's not a feeling. Mm -hmm. Repentance is not a feeling. It's a decision. Turning away from your sins. Turning away from your sins is what it means in the Hebrew, turning away. And then in the Greek, it means a change of mind and how we need both. We need both. We, you know, we, we, I was asking, or Dawson, me and him were talking and, you know, the Lord, listen, I'm nobody, but God will speak through anybody and everybody. And we can learn from anybody and everybody, but we need to be careful and test the spirits. And I was even telling them, listen, I'm talking to you guys, but I don't want you to, I don't want you to listen to what I have to say. I want you to test the spirits and even me. Because I'm only a man. It says in the word of God, let God be true and every man a liar. We need to test the spirits to see if it lines up with the word of God. And the truth is, guys, we need to repent. We need to, uh, it's a decision, making a decision for God. And it's sad. We're burdened. A lot of people are going to hell. And that's because they just don't know God. But do you have anything you guys feel led by the spirit just to say? And what, like maybe something that you've been going through and how God delivered you? Um, yeah, I was, re I was really needing some, uh, money because, you know, my job wasn't paying that well and, you know, I was trying to figure things out. So once when COVID happened, we had to close down because the, where, where I worked, I wasn't considered an essential worker. Mm. So when I went for unemployment, I said that, uh, I was, I was let go due to COVID and that was when money started just helping more and more as it did more than working at my other job. Because mm, God's blessed you in that aspect, huh? Yes. That's awesome, dude. And he was the dude my th that I had the dream of that I actually shared on this channel a, a while back when God started drawing me into his love and grace and, and, and opening my eyes. The veils were getting torn because, you know, a lot of people, how do we grow in God? How do we do this? How do we, you know, how do we know what to do? Faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. That's what me and Dawson were talking yeah. about today. He's like, you did, how do I get faith? Well, we need to first repent. We need to forsake this world. Because if, if we are in Christ, we are a new creation, gone with the old, in with the new. And we need to ask for the Holy Spirit to come, baptize us, fill us with the fire of God, and, and, and serve Him faithfully. And that's what we were talking about, just repentance and, and how it's a decision, and how people... God doesn't want robots. I'm going to say it one more time. God does not want robots to come and serve him. If you want and desire like a husband or a wife, if you're a girl, obviously for us it would be like a wife or something. We want to be patient and wait on God's timing. And 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 we don't want that person to, to be with us because maybe we have money. No, or we have this or that, the other. We want them to want us because they love us. Yeah. yeah. Right, same with God. God's not desiring or willing anybody to go to hell for all of eternity. God does not want one soul to go to hell. That's his heartbeat. God is not willing anyone to perish, but that all should come to repentance. Repentance is a change of mind. The first words of Jesus Christ in his three-year ministry was repent for the kingdom of God is at hand. And we need to do this. See, in Acts 19, it talks about how there were a lot of men who would, you know, make gods out of their own, you know, hands and clay and, and gold and silver and all this type of stuff. And, you know, it says that God looked over the ignorance and the past times and he winked at it. But now he commands all men everywhere to repent. And that's the seriousness of it. And he's just waiting on us to decide to follow him so that he can bless us with his Holy Spirit in the kingdoms and the truths of his word. And, man, when we get together, it's just like so much revelation. We just talk a whole bunch about God. But, um... We're still in that state right now, especially with them. Like, you know, right now, what we want to do and what Dawson is now figuring out today, especially, is go out and make disciples. So I go and make disciples yeah. with him. And what happened it, right after that? It, now it's your turn to go make yeah. disciples. Yeah, someone DM me and was asking and was wanting to do a Bible study and stuff like that. So 830 to not. Bible study, a Bible study is going on. He's doing a Bible study. That's amazing. And then, yeah. uh, and tomorrow he's getting baptized in Jesus' name, obeying His word. And it's just awesome. God is moving in 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 their lives. And I just wanted to come on and share this with anybody, and just share like you know whatever they want to talk about right now. 
because we really are living in the last days and, and, and my heart hurts for the lost. My heart, heart hurts for the people who don't know Jesus Christ because every, every person that you walk by, every person that you have the ability to be able to speak life into, to be able to speak the word into, they're an eternal soul going one or two places. Where is that? Heaven or hell. Heaven or hell. And this is for all eternity. This is not like something like I want to take lightly. And especially as someone who is preaching the word, like I'm held at a very high standard. I'm actually, I have a greater condemnation if I were to preach his word in the way that God does not want me to. I would have more whips, more lashes is what the word says. And I fear God and I love God and he loves you and he loves me, but we need to get things straight. And if you have someone who, you know, God's been tugging at your heart to go speak to, I would do so now because we are living on borrowed time. God is being merciful. He's waiting. And, you know, I was talking about, I don't know if it was with you or I think it was where we were watching TikTok or something. And, you know, there's like some mm -hmm. Christian TikTokers mm -hmm. that are kind of blowing up. But, you know, listen, I test the spirits. There's a lot of people who are wanting to do God's will and they, they, they see Jesus loves you and awesome. But, uh they're, they're planting seeds, you know, and that's awesome. And praise God, the name of Jesus is being lifted up. But the app TikTok is blowing up, right? TikTok, time is up. Jesus Christ is coming. It's 2020. See visions, wake up. And yeah, and we're just coming in one accord and one mindset. And yeah, anything else you feel led? I know we were talking about, we had a lot of questions about yeah. um, just the end times and stuff like that. But yeah, hopefully you guys were encouraged in some sort of way. Uh, get together with people, you know, fellowship, uh, just read the word together and pray together because we need to be people of prayer. We need to be people of faith and just trusting in whatever the enemy throws at you that you can be delivered and set free by faith. It's by faith that we please God. Without it, we can never please God. And the carnal mind is an enemy of God. It cannot do that which pleases God. But if we trust in him, He'll bring things to pass and God will put people around you who you can go pour into and disciple so that they can be set aflame and fire a flicker. You know, this, this bracelet that I got, uh, handed, I was telling Dawson about it and showing him it's titled fiery witness. Then it says from a flicker to a flame, from a sinner to a saint, a fire that will never fade away the burning man. So I think that's pretty fire. Jesus is fire. He'll baptize you with the Holy spirit and fire so <laughs> yeah god is good um just this quick video to just like encourage one one another and go and preach the gospel to every creature because tiktok time is up and jesus is coming back soon god bless all of you in the mighty name of jesus